All right, we're back with more. Bob Pompiani and Chris Muller. We have another tweet here. We got a lot of tweets in. Um, this is Brian Greenberg who says, five of the last six seasons as GM Ben Charrington's teams have finished in last place five or six years. You know, we could talk about a rebuilding. It is, it, it, actually, Chris, it's gone on beyond three years. This is a, an extension of the end of the Huntington regime. If you look at the losing, it's been going on since 17. So it's longer than that, but it better, it better fast forward here a little bit. And again, I don't know how they do that other than you're going to get another high draft pick. It's got to be somebody. You know, you see, you see guys around the league, you know, like Acuna. You see guys like Juan, Juan Soto. Soto. You yeah. see like Fernando Tatis. Yep. There's so many guys at age 21, 22. Where are I'm, the precocious guys for the Pirates who just come up and can do it right away? Exactly. Like, that's what I want to – I've said that for years. Even when Huntington was having good years, where are the guys who get – more or less rushed through the system because they prove they can do it and you just put them up on the big club I think things like that ultimately come back down to team control over a player and not wanting to, to rush guys and have them hit free agency at 25 or whatever so what need some good players and Bob let's be real about this let's give a dose of reality where's the AJ Burnett trade that's going to bring in a guy like him where's they just traded away Quintana he looked like the, the closest thing to Liriano Right, like as far as a lefty who is who is having a career resurgence. Where's the Russell Martin type player who's the heartbeat of the team? Where are all these things that did kind of come together out of nowhere to make the 13 through 15 Pirates what they were? None of that's on the horizon here. That should be very troubling to anybody who watched that team come together and has watched what this team has been unable so far to do. On a positive note, down in Double A tonight, Nick Gonzalez had four hits, including the walk-off winner. Let's go to Basil in Butler. Basil, what's up? Oh, nothing. I'm just saying, why don't the Pirates try to stay with a steady lineup and well, sign, find out what these guys can do? Well, I'm okay with that. Um, and, and quite frankly, these guys, they just pick off the waiver wire. I don't want any part of it. I'd rather see a Sawinski up here again and just see what we – you only have a month left, basically. Not me. I'd like to see more Josh Van Meter. <laughs> I can't get enough Van Meter. I gotta, I'm mean. like uh, Bruce Dickinson. i got to have more Van Meter. i got to have more Padlo. Kathy and Derry, let's squeeze you in. Hello, Kathy, how are you? Uh, hi, Bob. Hi, Chris. Um, thank you for taking my call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tried to get through last night, but I didn't get on. And I'm going to say tonight what I was going to say last night. Kenny Pickett is the man. He got us the touchdown that won that game, and I was howling. Well, he's making great strides. You heard it from Najee Harris. You think today. Kathy had action on the Steelers minus two and a half there? <laughs> you think she might have she might have laid the points, and okay. she's very pleased at how things ended because there are no preseason ties? That could be. Hey, listen, I, I'm anxious to see Mike Tomlin tomorrow, Chris. 11.35, we'll have that for you on KDK. I'm sure you guys will cover it at the fan. Uh, he's going to announce his plans. I would suspect Trubisky, then I would expect Pickett, then I would expect Rudolph, and I would expect Pickett to play second, third quarters. I'll be shocked if it's anything other than that. We get to see Kenny against closer to varsity, Bob. I think that's only fair, and that has nothing to do. I think Mason Rudolph played well. He threw one pass I didn't like, but other than that, he played well. He made the best long pass of the night. The bottom line is... We'll see more. It's coming up Saturday. You'll see it on KDKA, Jacksonville and Pittsburgh. Good night.